feel like something is missing. Perfect. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia and today we are talking about what's in my camera bag. First off is the camera bag. So I have gone through so many different camera bags in my photography career and I have tried many different brands. I feel like there is no such thing as a universal bag that's gonna work for everybody. So I have found one that has worked for me. The Backpack Pro by Douchebags. This has been my companion for the last six to seven months, I'd say and I really enjoyed it because it is really compact. It has a lot of different pockets for my laptop, for example. There's a top compartment where I keep keys or my wallet or extra snacks or something like that. There are these black straps where you can like strap a jacket on. And also this one to carry a water bottle or a tripod. So when you open it up, it's empty inside. And that is because you can get a separate camera cube for all your camera gear. And I really love this because whenever I go camping or on an overnight hike, I just take this case out of my backpack and put it in my big hiking bag. So my gear is safe and I just have this kind of business look in the mountains. <laughs> what I really like is that it is so small and compact and Usually the bigger the bag, the more stuff I carry. So if I have a small bag, I just make it work with the things that I have, which is always better. So I kind of wish that they would make a bigger size where with some a little bit more space for like a fleece or a jacket, but I really, really enjoy their products. I think Douchebags is a great brand. You probably heard of them. I mean, a pretty popular brand for good reason, but yeah, Douchebags. I like your bag. There's actually gonna be a giveaway in this video, so I'm really excited to talk about that later on. Moving on to the camera. So my main camera is the Canon 5D Mark IV, is the camera that I'm filming on right now, so I can't physically show it to you. I have been using this camera for about two years now, and I love it so much. I'm a little bit of a Canon fangirl, I just love the Canon colors and I feel like every Canon user says that. With that, I have the 1635 2.8 Mark III and it is the L series. It's one of the more expensive lenses of Canon, but it is weather sealed. It is so durable and it's incredibly sharp. I love shooting with this lens and I love to have the freedom of having a wide angle of 16, zoom into 35, when I shoot some portraits or want to get a little bit closer to my subjects. Since I bought this lens, I've been using it so much until the 7200 2.8 Mark III, also by Canon. It's really hard to pick a favorite one between that one and this one. The 1635 has been my favorite one for most of the time, but I feel like this one is my new favorite. I bought it this past fall and I feel like it has been such a game changer also for my style because I've been able to isolate my subjects more and achieve a more minimalistic look. And a really cool thing that you get with these tele zoom lenses is that there's lens compression, which means that the things that are in the background, they appear to be closer to you. So they also appear a lot bigger and you get this lens compression, but it's really cool when you're shooting a person on a road or when you're experimenting with mountains in the background. And it's also just great for detail shots of like mountain peaks and stuff like that. One of my favorite lenses, so 70 to 100. Next thing that I always carry is obviously batteries for my camera. I carry about four or five Canon batteries, which is a little bit excessive because these last really long, but I just want to make sure that I have enough. And you maybe see that there is a yellow sticker on my batteries. That is because I like to mark my gear, mostly my batteries, because when I travel with other people that have similar gear 
or the same gear, I don't want to mix it up and then not get my stuff back. So I make sure to mark my stuff just to know that it's mine. That's just the way I am. Next up is my drone. I use the Mavic 2 Pro. I've been using this for about one and a half years and I really, really love this drone. I feel like it has been such a big upgrade in terms of image quality from the Mavic Pro. The That's the, the one that I had previously. I don't use it as much as I use my camera, but I, I'd say I, I definitely fly a lot. With that obviously comes the remote control. I guess there's not a lot to add to that. And then I have two extra batteries, so a total of three batteries, which will last me for a good amount of time. And I also have the car charger. So whenever I'm on a road trip, I just charge the drones while we're driving to the next location. So I always have full drone batteries. A little coffee break. Next up, storage. I use the Lexar SD cards. They're super fast. I really rely on fast SD cards because I switch a lot from photo to video. You want to have a fast SD card that can process that quickly so you don't miss a shot or you don't have to wait around until you can take the next picture or the next shot. Speaking of Lexar, this is another product that I have and this is a SSD which is so, so, so much faster than a hard drive. And I mean, if you look at the size, it's, it's so compact. This one is a 500 gigabyte SSD, which is not that much, but I usually take it as a, a backup of the day that I'm shooting or the trip that I'm on. And then from these, I go to my big hard drive. This is like a two terabyte or even four terabyte hard drive. I've been using the lacy ones. They're not my favorite. Moving forward, I kind of want to just stick to the SSDs, although they are a lot more expensive. But in terms of size and speed, they just make so much more sense. So it's kind of a no brainer and definitely worth the investment. This is my laptop. This is the MacBook Pro 15 inch and I've been using this here for about four years now. It has been giving me a little bit of trouble, so I kind of want to upgrade to the new MacBook, but currently still fighting my battles with this one, so we'll see how long it lasts. I love the colors on the screen of the MacBook, and you know, that's just what works for me. Moving on, this is kind of like the obvious thing, but I wanted to include it if someone was curious what phone I'm using. I use the iPhone 8 Plus and I actually dropped it the other day. So this is a friendly reminder to put cases on your phones and I should probably start taking my own advice for that. Then I obviously always carry my chargers, which I don't necessarily need to show because I think that is kind of like an obvious thing. Another thing that I always carry is my Rode mic, which I'm currently using to record this audio. It's a very compact mic and I I'm pretty happy with it. So moving on, these are things that are not a necessity, but I usually carry these items with me. So one being a reusable water bottle to not buy plastic bottles uh, when I'm on a road trip or when I'm out and obviously to stay hydrated when I'm hiking. So yeah. Another thing is this bad boy. This is my Minolta film camera. I don't always, always carry it, but let's say most of the time and a lot more recently because I've just been obsessed with shooting film. And if you've never tried shooting on film, you should definitely give it a try. It is a lot of fun and it just is such a refreshing and different experience as you don't get to see your photos on the back of the screen because it's all analog. And so you're shooting on a film roll and then you have to develop that role if you're not familiar with how it works, but you can definitely look up some videos and maybe ask your grandparents or your, your parents if they have one of these cameras lying around at home and then just mess around with it. It's a lot of fun. And one of the last items, which is more of a girly thing, but I just like to bring a brush when I, when I leave the house, just because sometimes when I have portraits taken of me, I just want to make sure that you know, I look cute <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's why I bring a brush. It doesn't hurt. I mean, why not? Just to make sure that I feel 
little bit more confident and then that I can kill the portraits. So a brush and there's a mirror in there as well. So yeah, that's what I bring. I feel like I've forgot something, but I just try to make, make it work with what I have. And that has always been my approach to photography. All right, guys, that was what's in my camera bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's going to be a giveaway and you can win the Backpack Pro by Douchebags. So all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel and then just leave a comment under this video telling me what your favorite lens is and you'll be automatically entered into the giveaway. I'll be announcing the winner next week. So make sure to follow me on Instagram to not miss that. And a big shout out to Douchebags for letting me give away one of their bags. I wish you good luck and I'll see you next week. Bye.